everyone, welcome back to Gen TV Lifestyle channel. My name is Sierra. If this is your first time here, welcome. As you can see from the title of this video, this is going to be a review of um, Grateful Pets in Charlotte, North Carolina. I want to give you a review of the specific Grateful Pets location that I went to, being that there are multiple locations throughout the city of Charlotte. So stay tuned if you'd like to see how my puppy's first grooming visit was at Grateful Pets. And if you have not subscribed to Gentry Lifestyle channel, again, I ask you, what are you waiting for? Y'all need to try to get your girl to 200 subs. I know that I am not on this channel as consistently as I like to be. I work a full-time job, but I plan on putting out more content. So, give me some more subscribers. Y'all be watching these videos. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get into this review of Grateful Pets. Stay tuned. All right, so let's get into it. So I went to the Grateful Pets location located on 9010 Monroe Road. That's 9010 Monroe Road here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I was late to his first appointment because I got lost. There are two locations on Monroe Road. One is towards the beginning of Monroe Road and one is closer to the um, end of Monroe Road where you're getting towards Matthew Sardis Road area. And that's the location that I should have been at or should have um, went to, but I actually accidentally uh, got misrouted to the wrong Monroe Road location. So if you decide to go to Grateful Pets, the Grateful Pets that I'm reviewing is the one that's closer to um, Monroe Road, Sardis Road area. With COVID-19 taking place, um, most of the places that I've been going to, like the vet and now with the groomer, they're doing curbside service where um, they are coming out to your car and getting your puppy and then when you come back to get your puppy, they're bringing them outside. So I'm not sure as to how long these things will be taking place, but um, with COVID-19 um, taking place, you'll find that places that you go to for your pets are taking the same precautions that they would take um, at a, a hospital or, um, you know, just like with places that humans frequent, they are doing the same precautions when it comes to your animals. So I do um, like that. But I did want to kind of see how he did, you know, on his first experience. I know that, norm I, I don't know how it works with the normal um, groomer visit, if you can sit inside and wait until they're done. But I would have liked to see or like to get on video him coming right out of uh, his grooming experience but I definitely understand that precautions have to be taken um, safety measures have to go into place um, based upon what is currently going on so I just want to say that if you do go to get your puppy groomed at Grateful Pets um, you may experience the same thing that I experienced until uh, the COVID-19 um, precautions or, or restrictions are lifted for me, I don't, I don't know when things are going to change, but anyway, I just, I wanted to mention that to you guys. My puppy is pretty feisty. He's a, he's all boy. He's definitely a boy puppy. Um, he can be very jittery. And my main concern for Captain was that he wouldn't give his groomer the opportunity to um, groom him properly because I've tried to groom him since I've had him. I've only had him for a month and a day now um, and when I was trying to groom him just a little bit he squirmed and wiggled so bad that I was like I have to take him to a professional groomer to get this done. I It's no way in the world that I'm going to be able to uh, get this done with this little wiggly uh, puppy. So I took him to uh, Grateful Pets and he liked it. He came out really good. Um, his groomer did let me know that she call, she's going to call him Mr. Wigglebottom instead of Captain because he wiggled a lot. Um, he's a pretty squirmy puppy, puppy because he once he gets, since he's gotten used to being at home in his own environment, his own house, 
when he goes and he's around other people, he gets extremely shy and wiggly um, beyond how much he wiggles with people who he's used to being around. But anyway, he did a great job on his first grooming trip. He was kind of scraggly before he went in there um, because when I try to comb him at home, he didn't like to be combed. Um, his hair started to um, grow out of control and his nails grew out of control. So I ended up getting him a hands, face, face and feet um, grooming. I don't know, I might be saying it wrong, but hands, face and feet grooming. And I believe that based upon his breed, based upon his size, that it was $30 or $35 for his first uh, trip. So I'm gonna show y'all how he looks. I'm gonna try to insert some clips of his before photos, but it's so hard to get a picture with him being still, and it's hard to get a video of him being still. So I'm gonna see what I can insert of his before so y'all can see the difference with his um, him being groomed. All right guys, so this is Captain. He's probably not gonna face the um, camera, but he just got up from his nap and he has on, his, he still has on his little scarf that they gave him. And I think that he looks adorable. His face got shaved down his ears and his um, little bottom. And he looks adorable to me. I'm so glad that he is nice and clean. As I said before, he is definitely all boy. He gets into some major messes. And um, I'm so grateful that Grateful Pets was able to get him together and get him right in the midst of COVID, he has to remain clean. So if you are looking for a, a groomer, I definitely recommend Grateful Pets. Um, the groomer that I have for um, Captain, her name is Chastin. I, I believe I'm pronouncing it right. The C-H-A-S-T-I-N. She did a wonderful job, had a really great attitude. So chances are that the next time Captain goes to um, grateful pets he will be going to see his now new groomer Chastin so um, I will put a link below in this video for the grateful pets website in case you want to um, take your puppy there take your dog there and let me know how your experience goes let me know if you like it let me know if you didn't um, like it grateful pets is not only for puppies or dogs but um, kittens as well. For me, I am a dog person. This is my first pet in life. Um, I know that my parents, as I was growing up, my mom and my stepdad, uh, we, we weren't allowed to have pets. Um, we had fish, my sister and myself had a fish for maybe three, we had two fish for three days and they passed away. So now as an adult, finally being able to have my own uh, fur baby. My fur baby is pretty exciting. It's been a experience. So I may do a video on how things have been with a puppy. Training the puppy, all that good yeah. stuff. So stay tuned for the next video here on JTB Lifestyle Channel. I hope y'all are remaining safe during this um, season and until next time y'all be blessed good morning you ready for your first grooming appointment <laughs> okay so I forgot to mention how amazing Captain smelled after he got out of his appointment. I'm not sure what type of um, shampoo they used, but he smelled like warm vanilla sugar. He just smelled so amazing. Puppy. Look at the man, puppy. Hey, little man. Hey. Hey. Did you like going to your groomer today? You like going to your groomer, man? You like going to your groomer, baby? You look so nice and clean, son. You look so clean, boo boo. Yeah, pose it up, baby. 
Some ladies look at me. Ladies love Captain Baby. Ladies love Captain Baby.